bioeducators, one of the main problems of urban environment is the accumulation of waste. Although law mandates us to separate our waste, a large part of our waste is not recycled. In order to increase the amount of waste being recycled, it is necessary to motivate our society to become involved in recycling activities. And what better way to target the society than teach our children, as they say, catch them young. So under the auspices of Ashoka University, we at Eco Paradigm present activities that uses games as a form of learning. Popularly known as gamification, this has the ability to motivate society and in our case, children towards positive behavioral change. So we present a few games that schools can include in their curriculum that will produce environment literate students who will care about the country's public spaces and the environment at large. What better way to introduce positive behavior towards responsible solid waste management than by using the age-old board game that originated in ancient India called Moksha Patma or the Ladder of Salvation. Yes, the same game known now as Snakes and Ladders. So we have gathered a few students in the park from both private as well as government schools and will use the game of snakes and ladders to acquaint them with principles of solid waste management. So we are here at the park with these children and you will demonstrate how this game of snakes and ladders will be played to reinforce the positive habits for a better environment and for better solid waste management. And Priya here will be explaining the rules. The rules of the game are similar to the regular snakes and ladders game. Here we chose the order of the participants by lots. The chits had refuse, reuse, recycle and discard written on it. Refuse got the first turn and discard got the last. You can play this in groups too. Using a dice, the participant moves forward. A good habit makes you go ahead or climb the ladder. An eco-unfriendly habit makes you go back or slide down the snake. The participant who has moved the farthest in the given time wins. Isn't this a good way to learn about solid waste management? After a fun-filled afternoon of learning through gamification with eco paradigm a small prize distribution was also held for all the participants. Many such games can be conceived for students to learn about sustainability concepts, the vocabulary used, which will also result in heightened sensitization towards the environment.